in our mercantile store in Independence, Missouri. We're in April, we're in April, and we and a lot of families are departing to to their mission to their journey west. And right now, I am going to report a specific family of 27. They're taking four wagons, and I'm reporting what they're buying. They they ha they found a big sack of gold and four, and. Reports say that they came out of the mysterious UFO about a month ago. So on their first wagon, they're getting tents, tents and poles, hunting knives. They're getting four of them. Um, 25, 25 pounds of molasses, five hundred um pounds of dry meat, four hundred pounds of bacon, a first aid kit. Sugar, sugar, a hundred pounds, egg, a hundred pounds, and seeds. On the second, on the second wagon, the which is full, they're getting a hundred pounds of lard, a hundred pounds of beans, of meat, um, some wax to get to make some candles for lighting, um, matches to light those candles, ropes, sheets, um. 600 pounds of flour, coffee, 600 pounds, I mean, 60 pounds, um, a bl they're bringing blankets, which is one for every three people, pillows, one for every person, fabric, and coats for the mountains. So on their third wagon, they're getting rubber coats, they're getting rubber coats, pots, right, 500, 550 pounds of rice, um, hat a hatchet, um, self- Stuff for the tent and bedding, um, hard tack, needles and threads for for to make clothing, um, seventy five pounds of biscuits, hats for the for the heat, um, twelve gauge shotguns. Oh, you know they're getting twenty seven pounds, baking soda, fifty pounds of that, and an axe. On their fourth and last wagon, they are having. Threads, needles, fabrics, pots, pans, wooden spoons, tea, four pounds, um, fruit and vegetables, a hundred pounds. They, um, Winchester nut rifle, clothing, uh, and cloth for the clothing, oil, eating utensils, pots and pans, um, a hoe for farming. Um, a, a rifle, uh, a Harper's Ferry model 1841 Mississippi rifle from the Pacific, and 150 pounds of flour. So with us, we have, um, we have Mr. William, who's going with, the, who is one of the 27 who's going on the mission, and once again, maybe, maybe someone that came out of the UFO. So hi, William. Hi, Mr. William. So I'm William, and I think that it was a shame that all the fruits and vegetables because they're gonna rot and they're gonna spoil. No, they, no, we didn't yet. dry them before before we were gonna take them. So you think that was not a good idea? No, because if we didn't dry them before, they are totally gonna rot and spoil. And if we have a hundred pounds of them, that's gonna take up a lot of space for the oxen to pull. And that's not going to be good on the prayer school. Oh. So, and what do you think is something that you did good on bringing in? So, I think that it was a good yeah, thing to bring some weapons, but it was also a bad thing to bring that many of them because I, we, we were overloaded on weapons and too many weapons. It's going to look like we're going to spoil and we're going to try and shoot somebody and, you know, attack Native Americans, things like that. And what do you think is something that you should have brought but didn't bring? Well... I think, okay, I'm not really good. sure about that, okay, I haven't really given that a good thought, but there are some things that I think maybe we could have said to be a little more descriptive, maybe like with the pots and pans, you gotta put them in the flour bin to make sure they don't break, because if we're just leaving them out, clang, 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 probably break, that's not gonna be good. And I, and I, I hear that you're very worried about that, because on the on the trail it's so bumpy that milk can be churned without anyone touching it. Yes, that is peculiar, definitely peculiar and interesting because it's so bumpy. Well, if we don't put anything like in compact space and it's just gonna roll around, bump around, like it could be disastrous. Thank you, Mr. Williams. For today, we recap we recapped what the what the family of twenty seven is bringing on their four wagons. And we never know, this family might be the one that came out of the UFO, or it might just be a legend. So this family of 27 is going on a wagon train for, with 80 other wagons. 
80 other families probably and the next and the next part of their journey which they're about to start will be crossing the Mississippi River will their material make it will their wagon will their oxen we never know